We're also hearing from CARE Florida, the Council on American Islamic Relations local chapter, about how local Palestinians are reacting to the crisis. Our Josh Rojas spoke with the executive director, who says Tampa has one of the largest Palestinian Muslim communities in the state. CARE Florida, based out of Tampa, says they hope people are also concerned about the innocent Palestinian citizens who are now caught in the middle of the battle. We have a few concerns. Abdullah Jaber, the executive director of CARE Florida, says he's getting calls from Tampa Bay residents who are worried about their relatives in the Gaza Strip. And this morning I was talking to a mother whose children are stuck in Gaza right now. So that's what I mean that just as there are Americans who are worried about their relatives in Israel, there are Americans who are worried about their loved ones in Gaza and in Palestine. And we have to look at both sides. Abdullah says there's two million Palestinian citizens living in Gaza who are not a part of Hamas. CARE says they're against Israeli bombings with no warnings, along with cutting off electricity and water because innocent lives are impacted. Back in Tampa, Abdullah says a student with a Palestinian flag bumper sticker was targeted on a local college campus. You saw the call that came in of the slashed tires at the university. Yes, I did. So that's very concerning. Abdullah believes Israel, just like any nation that's attacked, has a right to defend itself. But he also believes war is not going to solve the problem. I think as people of faith and as people of decency, as Americans, we pray for everyone, both sides, and we really hope to see an end to this violence.